Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another video of where I moan at you for the next 10 minutes because I'm upset about something. Ha <laughs> ha! Brand, uh, brand new intro unlocked. So, for most of my life I've been an iPhone fan, an Apple fan, I've got a MacBook Pro sat next to me. I used to wear an Apple Watch, I think I've still got the tan lines from it. Don't know if you guys can see, probably can't. This was my phone. I gave it to my son, right? This is a 13 Pro Max. I gave it up for this. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4. And I wanna have a moan about it. <clears throat> Even though a few months ago, I made a video about it ranting and raving. Because you know what? At that time, it was a great phone. But not anymore, it's not, because the screen's dead. The whole point of it is gone. Doesn't work at all. The outer screen works fine. I can use it as I need to, but I'm then stuck with this tiny screen. So, <laughs> now, luckily, this is under warranty still. And, I phoned up Samsung. Hi, yes, my, my phone screen has stopped working. My Galaxy Fold, the inner screen, it's just gone blank. Can't touch it, blah, yada, yada. That's fine, sir. Your phone is under warranty. Bring it into one of our stores and we'll fix it for you. Ah, oh, great, thanks. When should I come in? I'll book an appointment for you right now. Thank you, I'll see you at that time and that day. Thank you and have a good day, sir. I will. I hope you do too. <clears throat> and you know what? I thought, great, my phone's gonna be fixed. It's all gonna work out fine. Bearing in mind, this phone cost 2,000 pounds brand new. I didn't pay 2,000 pounds, I paid about 1,400 pounds because I bought this second hand, which is why I thought it was out of warranty, but it's not. Samsung, thank you gives you a two year warranty rather than just one, which is great. Now, the previous owner as well even had insurance on it. Now, because I'm not the previous owner, I can't use that insurance policy, which if I could have used that insurance policy would have meant a, a world of difference to me, but not the problem. So I walk into Samsung I hand the device to the man, he opens it up, he looks around for maybe three minutes and finds, see if I can find it now, a little tiny dent, ah, there it is, a little tiny dent, I'm gonna zoom in, <clears throat> just there, you can just see it, just there which voids the warranty. Now, <clears throat> I don't know how that happened, personally. Whether I did it, I'm not saying I didn't do it. I may have done and not realized. I don't remember. That's not the point. So he goes, well, we found damage to the screen, so it's now voiding the warranty. I was like, right. And how much is it to fix? He went 500. I went, 500? There's more? 570 pounds. I went, yeah, nah. And I walked out, genuinely. I walked out there and then. I went, no thank you. I took my device and I left. I did. I'm not paying 500 pounds when Samsung can't even make a screen properly that can withstand stuff. They call this glastic. Glastic. What the fuck is glastic? Well, they call glass and plastic. Glass doesn't bend Samsung for a start. Glastic. Fucking glastic. That is the worst thing I have ever heard. Now, I don't know if this is because this phone is a pile of crap or because I've had to keep it folded for the last week. But now, when I even if I wanted to fold it out, it doesn't it doesn't fold out. That's it. 
Look, oh, 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 fold, fold it up. It's all lovely. Ooh, look at that. Lovely, sleek lines. Unfold. And that's it. Look, I'm gonna, I'll push down and it just comes back up again. Thanks, Samsung. So, now I'm stuck with just, actually, that little tiny letterbox. Rather than a nice big, you know, bright seven inch screen that was really good. And I really enjoyed using this phone, but it is a pile of shit if it can't withstand normal usage. Because even if I did do it, which I highly doubt personally, how? That little tiny crack that I showed you. This is a good phone. It's a pile of crap at the same time. But, but, I'm not going back to Apple. As tempting as it is, I'm not gonna go back. I am gonna stick with Samsung and I'm hoping to sort out an S23 Ultra. Yes, you're probably going, oh no, wait for the S24. Wait for the S24. No, I will not wait for the S24 because I am sick of this letterbox screen for my phone. I'm not going to foldables, not until you can actually bend glass. Not until you can actually bend it like that. This and most other folding phones are crap. What? <sighs> £2,000 a man paid for this phone, someone or a woman paid for this phone. And a small crack on the guardrails broke it. So yes, I technically, well, in a way, have no phone. I do have a phone, but I don't have a phone. Not the phone I paid for, because I'm currently stuck using this little fucking thing. I was really enjoying playing games on this big screen and watching movies on this big, big, really nice screen. Oh, and another thing that I've just remembered, the screen protector, it's peeling off. Look, there, and there. So Samsung, stop making shit phones. Anyway guys, another rant over. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it won't be a rant.